up YouTube family? So I'm sure you guys are used to this format. Well, not today. Today, I'm gonna try vlogging. I'm not sure if I said it or not in the last scene because this is a raw series. I don't wanna keep on going back and looking at stuff. Did I say this? Did I say that? Um, this is going to be episode one of a fat loss vlog. So, first things first, I am going to see what I'm working with. Okay, let's see. Oh, hell no. This camera adding weight, man. I'm not 260. Hold on, we're going to see. I'm going to cut to the next scene. All right, so I just weighed myself. It told me that I was 256. It's, getting, it's been giving me crappy readings all day, regardless whether it's in my hands or not. See, this is bullshit. It said I was 256, and I got off. I said I was 258. Um, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to end up going to the store and getting another uh, scale. All right, enough of this shit. Let's go to the gym. Um, if you got a vlogging channel, if you do some vlogging uh, while you drive, um, <clears throat> comment below what kind of setup you got, like what you bought to hook that up in your vehicle or whatever, because I got this real shitty willy-nilly stuff off of Amazon. I think it's kind of like, um, I think my camera is too big for the uh, the space between the uh, windshield and the dash, and so this setup just doesn't work. It kind of feels like it's gonna fall off at any moment. Uh, I had some people tell me that they wanted to see me vlog, see me do like a full day of eating or something like that, and I figured I could knock all that out. Um, you know, just kind of like it wouldn't be like a, this isn't gonna be like a weekly thing, but maybe like a bi a bi weekly thing where I basically give an update. On my uh, on my progress with my cut, and um, you know, just basically had the camera with me for a full day. But I can already tell you, man, this is a whole lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Like I left the house like an hour later, trying to set up shots and everything. So the cut. God damn, I keep on having to do shit to set this thing up right. So the cut. Um, you know, there's so many aspects of, uh, you know, what to evaluate or what to talk about. Um, I don't think I want to talk about every single aspect of the cut during this video. Uh, one thing I want to talk about right now is the diet that I'm going to use. Okay, so to the uninitiated who doesn't know what ketogenic eating is, it's basically a grade down from a low carbohydrate diet in the sense that you're pretty much pulling almost all carbohydrates. Um, the only carbohydrates I generally get are trace carbs from the foods that I consume. You know, of course, like eggs have like one gram of carbohydrate uh, per egg. Um, also, when I have like almonds, cashews, and stuff, there's also incidental carbs in that. I'm basically not consuming any any dedicated carbohydrate sources. So that's like no potatoes, no starches, um, no sweet drinks. Um, I'm basically only getting about, uh, like I said before, about 50. Um, really, it's, I try to keep it sub 50 grams a day, but usually I'm a lot less than that. What happens when you put your body in a carbohydrate deprived state is the body becomes really, really efficient at using fat as a fuel source uh, due to the fact that it doesn't have um, carbohydrates to use. Um, and, and honestly, a, a lot of times people try to say, well, you know, carbohydrates aren't bad. And, and th that's not the point. Carbohydrates aren't bad. They're actually they're actually a great source of fuel. The body prefers them because they're so easy to use. The issue with carbohydrate is that um, if you consume a diet that's plentiful in carbohydrates and you do have an issue with body fat, um, what happens is um, the body never becomes really that great at using fat as a fuel source because it always has that easy burning fuel available. And so what low carbohydrate or ketogenic dieting does is it increases the body's efficiency at using, using fat as a fuel. 
because uh, generally speaking, like I said, if there is always carbohydrate available, the body the body is usually less likely to dip into fat stores because it looks at fat stores like a like a savings account. You don't dip into your savings account if you have discretional you know funds available. Carbohydrates are discretional funds. What you basically do when you go on a ketogenic diet or when you go on a lower carbohydrate diet is you basically teach the body, hey, check it out. We don't have any of that discretional income available. So you're gonna have to dip into your savings. Um, and that's kind of the ideal behind it. Of course, it's a lot more, it, it, it's as complicated as you wanna make it. But, um, you know, I'll go into detail in that later videos if somebody wants to hear more about that. But that's the basic idea. To get the body to use fat source, uh, to use fat as a fuel source um, efficiently. So when I pull the carbohydrate out and I have, uh, you know, my high protein intake, moderate fat intake, the body becomes really good at learning how to use that dietary fat. And then um, what happens is the body then also uh, is more likely to use skeletal fat, which is what you want, which is the fat that you carry, you know, that, that, that savings account that we want to basically expend. So it's looking like this video is going to be pretty long, so I figure rather than draw it out with a long extended edit, I'm just going to go ahead and put a mini edit of the workout because the workout is not necessarily the purpose of this video. Video the purpose of this video is mainly to show you what I'm doing for my cut. So, um, mini edit begins now. Where them haters at? Where them haters at? Where them haters? Where them haters at? Where them haters at? Man, pop my trunk and pop my pop my pop my trunk and pop my trunk and pop my trunk and pop my pop my pop my trunk and no. Bad, what you know about that? We flow deep in the lack and we all got gas just in case a food trip. Man, thank you, want a jack. Leave. So I just got through my weight training and my cardio. Now I'm off to the farmer's market and Walmart. Man, I just keep thinking this video is gonna be a monster to edit because uh, it's a lot of stuff going on in this video. I'm on my way to the farmer's market, like I said, or you should have heard, and uh, I'm gonna go pick up some. Uh, some of the uh, farm raised eggs and see what else maybe I'll get something else who knows but gonna go to the farmers market then try to head up to Walmart and get me a skill so we can get a good reading because um, I don't know that was that, that was some bullshit the skill I got is, is it, it, that skill start to hurt my feelings man start giving me some bullshit ass readings I know I'm less than uh, than uh, 260 or 258 like it said all right, so this is Georgia's Farmer's Market. I've been coming to this place for some years now. Actually, they moved. This is a different location, but uh, it's the same store. Georgia's Farmer's Market, it's off of uh, I-10. Um, let me see if they got some eggs. One of the deals about going to farmer's markets is that they don't always have stuff available. Um, so let's see. Alright guys, so I am currently leaving the farmer's market on my way to Walmart. Um, I went, I got a couple dozen of uh, farm raised eggs and um, asparagus and some, uh, some, some mixed nuts, some mixed nuts <laughs> and uh, I got some, uh, some stevia. Um, I ended up talking to uh, a couple of the, the uh, people that work there. And, um, you know, obviously they asked me what I was uh, filming for. I told them about my channel and they checked it out. So I was talking about working out and everything and I completely forgot to vlog anything. Um, but uh, it's cool because I got a couple subs in there and um, it's cool to get some of those real life subs, you know, when you see people and, um, you know, they, they take interest in whatever you're doing. I am using the Cybershot. 
smaller camera. I think it's like 16 megapixel. Hopefully it still looks okay. I, I don't know what it's going to look like. So now I'm on my way to Walmart to get a legitimate scale because the one I got, as we saw this morning, is a piece of shit. It's about to start coming down like a motherfucker out here. All right, so I'm currently in Walmart trying to vlog on the low. Um, came here to get a few things. Uh, got some kale. Um, about to give me some some meat. Normally, I purchase my meals from somebody who makes meals for me, but um, I actually ran out of meals, and so I'm going to have to make my own. Um, looking to get some lean turkey, some lean ground turkey. Looks like get some of these. Probably not gonna get any meals till Thursday or Friday. So about three pounds will do. So I generally prefer getting ground meat over, you know, like the solid pieces of meat for one, because it cooks quicker. And also it's just easier for me to eat. Um, I will on occasion eat chicken breast, um, you know, like turkey cutlets and things like that. But for the most part, um, at least for the past few months, I've taken to eat a lot of ground meat. Moving on. Okay, these blue diamond almonds are a, a staple. The raw blue diamond almonds. Um, you know, even with the macros being the same with other companies, for whatever reason, um, some of the other almonds from different companies end up tasting like wood chips or something. So I generally stick with the blue diamond. Sun kiss for the wife. As you could see, had to give me some of these uh, some of these flavored waters, man. These are really good. Um, I tend to over drink them. Yes, uh, they do have artificial sweeteners. Yes, artificial sweeteners have been shown to be carcinogenic. But um, cost to benefit ratio, man. It really helps a lot to have one of these at the end of the day. I got all this stuff and went out to the checkout line and realized I didn't even get a skill. So, which is the whole reason why I came here to begin with. Alright, so got everything I needed from Walmart. I'm gonna head to the house. Um, to get this weigh-in. This weigh-in is actually going to suck because it's late in the day and um, it's not going to be a good reflection of what I actually weigh because of the simple fact that it's like shit about to be 4 o'clock and uh, I haven't weighed in yet. I'll really be using tomorrow morning's weight as an indicator as to how much weight I have to lose. So see you at the house. All right, so I got the new skill hooked up and everything. I was so excited to get a proper reading and I didn't take the tags off or anything. But uh, let's see what we got. What the, oh yeah, yeah, I'm holding the camera again. Let me, let me set the camera down. Man, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. 256, just still roughly around the range the other one was giving me. But the other one had like a four pound differential. All right, guys, so. In the beginning of this video, I talked about not doing the red screen. Well, I kind of lied because I'm bringing it on back to the red screen. Because uh, the video is already getting pretty long, I could tell, because I started partially editing it. And I didn't want to extend it out any further than it had to be. Um, the main thing that I need to talk about now is going to just be my food. Um, I'm just going to go over um, what I ate. Um, so, meal number one, you didn't see me have a protein shake. I generally start off with a protein shake, and I had that at the gym, uh, but you didn't see me have the shake. It's uh, two scoops of BPI Best, uh, best Protein Powder. Um, and then I usually go home, and I have like a green drink, so I'll blend some kale with some uh, fermented vegetables. It's usually like sauerkraut but uh, I use like a veggie blend from Whole Foods. Um, I hate the way it tastes. It's a disgusting drink. It does not taste good at all. 
Um, but like I said, it's, it's jam packed with a lot of micronutrients. It has a lot of nutrition. So the first solid meal, uh, 10 ounces of ground turkey, uh, some broccoli with a little bit of carrots, um, two ounces of cheese, and one ounce of almonds. The next meal was basically the same thing except for the fact that the um, instead of having broccoli and carrots with the vegetables, uh, there would be asparagus. Now for the last meal, uh, I had four of the farm-raised eggs I got from uh, Georgia's Farmer's Market and I got uh, three strips of Black Forest uh, bacon. Um, in addition to that, it, I also mixed two egg whites with the eggs. Um, and lastly, the very last meal, and it's not actually a meal, it's more like a dessert, um, I mix up a serving of cottage cheese, um, two of the Carb Master yogurts from Kroger's, um, a little bit of Walden Farms, I think it's called Hazelnut Creamer, and uh, throw some stevia in there, and uh, one serving of mixed berries from Kroger, and it gives me kind of like this yogurt type it's almost kind of like ice cream because the berries are frozen. You can put it in the freezer and it, it actually it tastes really good and it actually allows me to be within my macros. Oh, hold on, I forgot. It, I also mixed one serving of Arctic Zero in there as well. Uh, in the future, if I do continue to do videos like this, I'm gonna try my best to consolidate everything and make sure the videos don't exceed like maybe 10 or 12 minutes. But we'll see guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care, guys.